everyone, thank you for joining me today. I'm Jack Ross, and I'll be presenting to you Apple. Now, for millions of years, even referenced in the Bible, apples have been around. They're pretty much have been the same way since they have been for the past few hundreds of thousands of years, maybe even millions. They're a fruit, you eat it, you gain some proteins, you gain some vitamins, that's about it. But this apple, this apple is always changing. This apple is something that you would need for your life. This is something that Apple has created, innovative, you need it for every day. It's your work schedule, your workout schedule, what you need to do when to pick up your kids. It's something that we have all come to use and all come to utilize every single day of our lives. And that's what Apple has done with its innovative products. On my agenda today, I will be talking about the history of Apple, some recent innovations, some products currently available for Apple, co company culture, their financial status, and their employment status, and then I'll end up closing. The history of Apple, it was founded in 1975 by Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak in their garage. And from the very beginning, their very first thought was, let's think different. Let's bring computers to the public. Let's make computers something that everyone can utilize, not just by the military or these big business corporations. And in the first year of Apple's creation, it made $7.6 million. Some innovations created. Apple had the very first color monitor screen on a computer uh, back in this day, and that was revolutionary. Before that, you were seeing just really grainy, low quality pictures, but finally you had color. You had these red, these greens, these blues that were just vibrant. Also, they were the first to create uh, mobile music. I don't know if you all remember, but back in 2007 and 2006, they introduced the iPod. This changed everything. It was, it brought music to life. It made you not have to sit at your desk and bring a CD, but you could download it onto this little device and you can take it wherever you really want it. <coughs> Some of the products being offered by Apple today. Apple offers, as I said, the iPhone, something that I believe most of the people in this room would be carrying in your pocket. Do you have an iPhone? Yeah, I do. Actually. Do you have an iPhone? Yeah. iPhone. And this is being recorded on an iPhone. See, I, Apple products are all around us, and they're being utilized in an everyday, everyday basis. And as I said, company culture is a very important thing when it comes to Apple. Apple has always thought about thinking differently, and that's not just in the way they produce their products, but it's in the way they carry themselves as a business. Apple dedicates hundreds of millions of dollars a year to the Red Cross Foundation and to not only innovative in their, pro in their products and programs, but also innovative in the people that they do business with and how they do business. Apple, as far as 2017 goes to today, they have hired 37% women, 27% um, underserved minorities, 20% Asian, 15% Black, and 10% Latino. And for Apple, this is huge numbers. They are currently leading the technological field in uh, minorities and women working for their company, which is something amazing. As opposed to financials, they're doing extremely well as well. From 2002 to 2017, they have had a seriously steady incline and have just been one of the really uh, hard-hitting stocks to buy in the market. Now they're priced about 152 stocks per dollar to share today. Now, from what they were maybe 20 years ago, this is insane. When they were just a garage company with two kids who were dropped out of college, to come in to make some crazy new products that no one thought would ever take off with giants like IBM and um, Dell taking over the market. In summary, Apple is much more than a company and much more than a statement, but it is a vision. A vision of people that can come together and create new things that will change the, change the way people do business and people live their lives. So my call to action for you is go out there, make a difference, and go buy an Apple product. Do I have any questions? Yes. What type of innovations are Apple making today? That's a good question. Today, Apple uh, has currently been working on their new iPhone, which is supposed to be amazing with a uh, new Retina display, new new Retina uh, reading to uh, unlock your phone whenever you need to, so you don't have to use your thumbprint all the time. And if you don't trust people to use it, stealing your thumbprint, that would be a problem. That's one of the big innovations that we're working on today. Any other questions? Yeah, what's, uh, what's Apple's current stock price right now? As I said, um, com coming off of um, I think it was NASDAQ. It was $152 a share as of an hour ago. Okay. All right, yeah. Where does Apple hope to go in the future? Apple would like to keep on this trend of seriously innovating their products and just really driving home the fact that people need to kind of break the mold because they get these computers and they just realize that they're too clunky, way too user, like mandatory. When Apple's producing these products that people out of the box can use without a problem and they're just the best products on the market. Do you have any other questions? No? All right. Thank you for your time today, and um, have a great day.